OK, so this guide is just a quick guide to show you how to get Excel to automatically adjust column widths as you type. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So normally, if you're trying to type something in a column, column headings, you could probably put date, say customer name, product name and OK, customer name has been over sort of shadowed by product name. Now, what you can do is you can click, you can move your mouse between the columns, double click and it adjusts the columns automatically for you. But if you want to do it as you type, let's have a look, see how you do that. So I've just gone back to the beginning of the spreadsheet and I've deleted everything out. So what we need to do is we just need to move our mouse down to the tab of our sheet at the bottom of the screen, click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left, and then left click view code. Then we need to select here this drop down worksheet. And then what we need to do is we just need to literally type in there cells with a capital C, full stop, entire with a capital E, column with a capital C, no space between entire and column, full stop, auto with a capital A and fit with a capital F. Again, no spaces between auto and fit. In actual fact, there's no spaces anywhere in that statement. And then if you just click on the cross in the top right hand corner to shut this down and then click on the cross in the top right hand corner up there to shut the Visual Basic editor down. Now, if I type in there, say date, there you go, it's automatically adjusted. If I type in there customer name, as you'll see, again, automatically widen the column. And if I type in their product name, as soon as I press enter or return, it again widens the column. So if I put in a date, say, for instance, in the date field, so let's just do that, press enter. There you go. It automatically widens the column. If I put a, uh, a customer name in there, again, widens the column. If I put in there a product name, and there you go, press enter. As you can see, it automatically widens the column name to the correct width, depending on what you need. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if it helped, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or have a look in the description down below. If you're in the market for a new VPN, a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, Fire Stick accessories, anything technical, have a look in the description down below. We've got loads of links down there, including a link to my Amazon shop, which contains all the things that I love from Amazon, stuff that I've bought in the past and really found useful myself. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.